new videos every day. Hello, I'm Jen Hillman, and today I'm gonna demonstrate some Swedish massage techniques to help alleviate tension through the low back. So to begin, I usually start with some compression, just walking my hands all the way down the back. And once I get to the lowest part of the back, I stack my hands on top of the sacrum. That's that flat bone at the base of the spine. I just lean my body weight into the sacrum and this creates a nice length in the low back and helps to alleviate tension and tightness where the vertebrae become compressed. You can also bring one hand up above the lumbar curve and traction in the opposite direction helping to create even more length. And even though it might not look like I'm doing very much, sustaining this traction allows for a nice opening and stretch to happen in those deep muscles there's a lot going on inside your partner's body. I'll use just a little bit of oil to lubricate the skin. And using the heel of my hand, I just press some nice gentle pressure just to the outside of the spine. Just working through that lumbar curve. flat part of my knuckle to trace circles around the quadratus lumborum, around the erector muscles, all throughout the region. And as you practice on your partner, you'll probably notice somewhere you're running into a bone. That's the top of the iliac crest on the pelvis. So it's important not to rub too much on the bone because that doesn't feel very good. But you can come down just below the iliac crest and start to get into the very tops of the hip muscles. This is great for cyclists and runners. These muscles get really tight, as well as people who sit as part of their job, who spend a lot of time sitting, and these hip muscles become very tight. For even deeper pressure, I can go in with my thumbs. And here I usually like to move a little bit more slowly because as you work deeply into these muscles, you will come across some knots or areas of sensitivity. So moving slowly allows your partner's body to adjust to the pressure that's being applied. And here she's got a little knot right in here. 
I can tell because it's an area where the tissue is feeling more dense, feels more tight, more resistant. So I'll just place some steady pressure right over that area and allow the muscles to start to relax and release. your thumbs through the area anywhere that you're finding knots anywhere that you're finding those tight little pockets of tension you can go in and work it with your thumbs that's a really effective way to help release that tension then I like to come in with my hands on the same side here and start to knead the muscles almost as if I was kneading some dough. So I'm applying pressure through my fingers and through my thumbs as I grab the muscles and grab the tissue. But I'm placing a little more pressure through the fingers as they graze across those muscles in the back. And you can work this petrissage motion moving all the way up the back. And for now, we'll just focus on the low back. To finish on this side, I'll just return to the long, smooth strokes with the heels of my hands. And I'll turn my fingertips down and start to traction along the side of her body. I'm not using a lot of pressure here, but just a more smooth and even pressure through the entire surface of my hand. This is a really nice finishing stroke that's very relaxing, soothing, and it feels really, really good. ready to move on to the other side. All right, so go ahead and repeat this video so you can practice on the other side. And go ahead and just favorite this video so you can come back and watch it when you have someone to practice with. Leave me a comment and let me know how you liked this video. And visit my website, jenhillmantherapeutictouch.com. You can find out more about me and my practice. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.